How's it going everyone? Dragon Twilight here, and today we are heading back into Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 4, The Trial and Execution of Guybrush Threepwood. Mighty Pirate. Can't forget the Mighty Pirate part. Ugh, love getting back into this game, and uh, before I started recording this, I'm going to be starting to upload uh, Back to the Future. I hope you guys enjoy that one as well. Alright, so let's get started. New game. Come on, new game. There we go. Ready to start a new game? Yes, I am. Why, yes, sir, yes, I am. Yes. There we go. Now we're just loading, waiting, waiting, waiting. Mm, what the? Why don't you move? There we go. Ish. Okay. <coughs> While searching for a cure to the pirate afflicting parks of Lechak, the fates of Guybrush Treepwood and Morgan the Flay are blown off course when they are swallowed by a lovelorn leviathan. Much yeah, to that part was cookie. Guybrush's surprise, an uneasy alliance to escape the beast blossoms into a yeah, genuine she was very helpful between the pirate and pirate hunter. A tidal shift that leads Treepwood to the elusive pops curing a sponge of oh. But Guybrush uh, learns too late that he is the wise pirate Nini. who prepares <laughs> for the inevitable change in the winds as Morgan betrays him and returns him to the Yeah, I don't really like that part. Clutches of the and she likes me too. She was very nice. She helped me out quite a bit. And I think we even had a moment, but... You know, it it just didn't work out, I guess. You know, she's a professional lady. She was hired to get me, and, well, she got me. Yeah, I'm, I'm just as disappointed as he is. Why, Morgan, why? Mm. <coughs> row, row, row your boat, row yourself to shore. Yeah, and the winds. Pulling us in. Ah, uh, yeah. Glare. Glare at you. Yeah, I'm not even going to talk to you. And the creep. Creepy guy. He gets even creepier in this one. 28, 29, 30,000 pieces of silver, mon petit chouchou. 30,000 pieces of silver? Read. It had better be, or I'll cut the difference out of your fluffy wig. I got an idea. Why don't you let me go and I'll pay you <coughs> double what the Marquis is paying. Don't embarrass yourself, Scrapewood. <coughs> Alrighty. I've got treasure. I'll auction off my entire collection of autographed sextants. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Oh, well, check you grossly underestimate the value of that which gushes through your body. Oh, well, I've got a pretty good idea. Why my spit alone once won me eight thousand pieces of eight on Booty Island. Yeah, that would be a uh, secret of Monkey Island two. Or, no, it's not a two. It will. Oh God, what was it called? It wasn't secret of Monkey Island. Finally, I've got this oh, liquid. Well. I've got eh. the formula, and soon I'll have nothing left than life eternal. Oh, I'm as happy as a penguin sliding on its belly. Uh, and you can tell she's feeling bad about it, but it's her job. She kind of had to. Uh oh, marauding hordes! They're coming for me, or Morgan, or me. I guess me. What is this? Ah, it's a welcome back party. I hope they brought ice cream cake. <laughs> I brush three wood. I don't know why everyone goes with ice cream cake where I'm from. Give me classic cake. Look, and hey, it's just pulling me around. Why can't I stop my legs? What? No! No, come back! This Cracker Croaker's got a date in the court of pirate law! Yeah, test tube tinker and Talleyrand! What? And then the scurvy dog will hang. Arg, arg, they're all inflected with the pox. In fact, of the entire island, uh, probably the only people who aren't are Morgan, you, him, him, and myself, since I was cured I by a lot of sponge around We're done here. And at least she has some integrity. See about that. 
some integrity. Huzzah, thank you. It's better than none. And the doors close on me. Dun dun dun! Yep. And here's where the music would usually be, but I cut that out because, you know, it's copyright and whatnot. But, you know. I know, it's kind of boring without the music, but, you know, it's better to have. Yeah. No marks on my thing. Alrighty. He is loud. Guilty of our charges, you will be taken to the nearest ship and keel hard until your ravaged skin hangs in tatters from your bleeding. Guilty? But I haven't been charged with anything yet. You haven't? Where's that incompetent prosecutor? Right here, your honor. Oh, God. Oh, great. And his frickin' late your eminence, but old Stan had to eat yeah, a his delicto. And there was a line in the washroom. Belay your excuses, you sniveling sea weasel, and get on with Yeah, the Stan the fast talking uh, salesman shows up in every single game. And his technicolor coat that you know, pattern doesn't move at all. <laughs> hey, I was this evening I, I was so glad that that, you know, that continued in this game because no it's a fun a little, uh, Firstly, you know, thing you don't notice, you know, unless you actually look at it. Secondly, during this self-same fight, Captain Threepwood spilled boiling nacho sauce on the exposed leg of Bolson Catherine Krebs. Hideously scarring one of Flotsam's shapeliest gams. Get him alive! Thirdly, that he did conspire with one Joaquin de Oro to craft and sell counterfeit porcelain power pirates. All about spreading hey. box. And finally, that he folded, spindled, and mutilated this previously pristine X belonging to Flotsam's newest arrival, Killick Hardtack. What the heck? Um, yeah, he did that to me. Captain Threepoint! Having heard the grave charges arrayed against you, how do you plead? Not guilty, of course. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these charges are stupid. I'll go with that these one. charges are stupid. And believe me, I know from stupid. Captain Three Point, you're out of order! You don't think order. before you talk. I'm out of order. You're, you're out of order. order. The whole Mr. Mr. Pirate legal system, legal system is out of order. Out of order. I kind of wish I was as fast talking Sorry. as uh, he is some days. <laughs> you know, stuff just spews out of his mouth that, you know, is perfect for some situations. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if I. Guilty, will I get out of here any quicker? Most definitely! Great. <coughs> then I plead? No. After the summary executions by keel hauling, hanging, boiling, and uh, escapism. What's escapism? <laughs> Trust me, kid, you don't want to know. Okay. I'm halfway then... tempted to look it up, but, uh, yeah, I plead not guilty. I plead 1,000% not guilty. Especially that last one about the X. Very well. Let it be recorded that the miserably guilty hey. defendant has entered a plea of not mm. guilty. Now. Who would you like to represent your pathetic case? Don't public you have defender, I guess. Public defender? A public defender in pirate court? <laughs> Good point. Yeah. <laughs> what a maroon. So that'd be a no then. Exactly. So I guess I'll represent I guess myself. I'll represent myself. Captain <coughs> Freepoint. Are you aware of the old pirate court saying, The pirate who represents himself in court has a soon-to-be keel-hauled fool for a client? <laughs> yes, Your Honor, and yeah. I am that fool. Fine! Uh... Your move, Counselor! Here's your briefs, kid. Okay, so, first off, uh, class... Uh... Constant abuse, X class. Plain of charge, ruin is perfectly good X, a suspect but plausible. Court hopes he's not just making things up. Yeah, I, I think he is. Uh, that one's definitely not. Uh, K Cribs, uh, by crimes and misdemeanor. Discontinued. <laughs> Alrighty, so this one looks like uh, she got burned, and I gotta figure out what caused the burns other than nacho sauce. 
Okay, uh, death by corset. Uh, felonious feline frightening. Uh, pussycat. Uh oh, the poor cat, it looks like, can't move an inch, so we've gotta make it move somehow. I'm not sure how. Uh, kind of for collectibles. Yeah, uh, this was the one about making the porcelain power pirates. I did make it, but. He was the one who tried to sell it, even though, you know, obviously it's a fake. Um, <coughs> death by eight-sided dice. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have to figure out something to do for De Oro. And let's see, the witnesses. Me, of course. Tiny sea sponge. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll have to... Don't roll away there. Give it up. I'll have to get that back before I can do anything else, really. Unremarkable what? That's my wedding ring! You know, there is nothing unremarkable about a wedding ring. And so I say. Uh, especially since it's, you know, my wife's wedding ring. Uh, okay, so that's all done. Uh, let's talk to the judge. Uh... Let's call a witness to find out what the. Uh, well, let's start with Bosun like Krebs. Let's call Bosun Catherine Krebs to the stand. See what Catherine this. Catherine uh, Krebs! Do yeah. you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog and covering her eye. I don't know why that is, I... but. Bosun Krebs, could you tell the court what happened on that fatal <coughs> day? I. I was minding my own business at Club 41 with a mug full of grog yep, and some yep. zesty nachos. When nachos, all of a nachos. sudden, that blindfolded Jasper barreled into me. Hey, it me wasn't my fault I was blindfolded. Me and gave me this disfiguring scar. Bada boom. Okay, I, black, purple, back. and a skull and crossbones shape to it, but. Ooh. Bailiff! Supply the prosecutor and the defendant with sketches of the burns for their briefs! Aye, aye, Your Honor. Perfect. All right, Lots that's exactly luck, what I need. Alrighty, Honor, I'd like to call another witness. Uh... Or yeah, call Honor, a recess like to, to confer call with recess my client. To confer with my client. Yep, yep. Bailiff, please escort Captain <coughs> Threepwood to the brig. Alright, now you guys get to see how stupid some people can be. <laughs>